we have 100 people in the room, 85 men and 15 women. And the first question is, how many handshakes take, take place if every person shakes hands with everybody else in the room? This is a problem from the branch of mathematics called combinatorics or counting theory. And combinatorics is dedicated to count things. In a way, it's nice, no fractions, no negative numbers, but we have to count often very large cases. Combinatorics has techniques specific to it. For example, and the handshake problem illustrates this technique, is the technique of coming up with a smart choreography that helps us counting. So for now, it doesn't matter who is men, who is women, it's just 100 people. So we have 100 people. So imagine that we are in a conference and there are 100 people in the room and we are actually uh, not with the 100 people. We are in addition to the 100 people, we are the media. And we go up to every person and we interview them and we ask how many people did you shake hands with. That means that we're going to ask 100 people and each of them will confess to exactly 99 handshakes. So the first approach would be is that we have 100 times 99 handshakes. And although that's incorrect, it's a very good first approach. Now, the problem with this, if there are two people at the room who shook hands with each other, we have counted that handshake at both ends. So that's not good. What is helpful though, is that we counted every single handshake twice. Therefore, we're gonna get the right answer if we just take this first approach and we divide that by two. So basically, we asked 100 people how many hands they shook it's 99 because no one shook hands with themselves. And so we were informed about 100 times 99 handshakes. However, we counted every single handshake twice. Therefore, we divide by two to fix the overcount. And that is the answer. And so the answer is 4,950. Part B is asking, what if men only shake men's hand, but every man shakes hand with every man and every woman shakes hands with every woman? how many handshakes took place. That problem is similar, but instead of 100 people, we're gonna play this, we imagine that the men and the women are in separate rooms. So there are 85 people in the first room. How many handshakes? Well, we interview 85 people because no one shake hands with themselves. Each of them will confess to 84 handshakes. And we have counted every handshake at both ends. Therefore, the correct answer will be half of that. So what we have is 85 times 84 divided by 2, which is 3,570. Well, that's just the man, right? Now, for the handshakes with the women, is a similar problem. In the other room, there are 15 people. We ask them all. Each of them will tell us that they shook 14 hands, and we counted every handshake twice. Therefore, the correct answer is going to be whatever 15 times 14 divided by 2 is. It's 105. And to find the number of uh, the total number of handshakes, we simply have to add the handshakes among the men and the handshakes among the women. So the final answer is 3,570 plus 105, which is 3,675 handshakes. Part C is sort of sort of an o o opposite situation from Part B. Here, men only shook hands with men and women with women. Now, what if it's the other way around, that every man shakes hands with every woman, but no man shake any man's hand, and no woman shakes hands with women? So then, imagine that we interview all the women. We're going to ask 15 people, and we're going to ask, how many people did you shake hands with? Well, every woman shook hands with all the men, so that's 85. We do not need to divide by two, because we have counted every handshake at the women's side. And actually these numbers are sort of lucky because if we accidentally thought that we need to divide by two, we would, we would get, um, we would get an, uh, a result that's not an integer, right? 15 and 85 are both odd. When, you, when we multiply that, that product is still odd. So if we divide that by two, we're not gonna get an integer. That's always a red flag. Eight, 15 times 85 is 1275. And just a side thought that, that if you think about it, if we add these two numbers, we should get this number. This is when men shake its hand with men and women with women. And this is 
uh, the mixed handshakes. If we add them up, we should be counting all the handshakes. And indeed, if we add 3,675 and 1,275, we will get these 4,950. So that's a good way to check. Thank you for watching.